So breaking news, Jimmy Fallon faces backlash for wearing blackface in a resurface SNL clip. The TV host Jimmy Fallon is very sorry for 2000 blackface skit. That's right, 20 years ago. Can be seen wearing blackface while impersonating comedian Chris Rock. Fallon acted alongside Daryl Hammond, who plays Regis Philbin in the sketch. The video has caused a major uproar on Twitter, sending hashtag Jimmy Fallon is over party trending on the site. Rock, now we're talking. Where is he? Man, oh man, Regis Philbin. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? And guess what? Not a lot of black folks on the show. Right. <laughs> Not a lot of black folks on the show. They're saying that he made a terrible decision to do an impersonation of Chris Rock while in blackface. He goes on to write, There is no excuse for this. I am very sorry for making this unquestionably offensive decision and thank all of you for holding me accountable. And then Nick Cannon tweeted, Don't forget about Sarah Silverman as well as Jimmy Kimmel. On TV about white people getting deducted by aliens, sticking all kind of hell up their butt. And that's a damn thing. Paul Malone never seen no flying saucer himself but if he do that's gonna be a spooky time nick cannon is one to talk he's totally a hypocrite though posting this photo of himself it is a photo of him in white face others called it racially insensitive and not much different from actress julianne huff's halloween costume last year when she wore blackface in character as crazy eyes how can we forget robert downey jr doesn't regret doing blackface as well i know who i am <laughs> How about Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister? Very sure that this was in fact the Liberal leader before we made the video public. They did confirm to us last night that we are looking at Justin Trudeau in this video. You can see that he has blackface makeup on. Not once, but twice. Including Justin Trudeau dressed up as Aladdin. So it's hard to forget Trudeau's over-the-top costume. Famous YouTuber Shane Dawson does blackface. <laughs> Liberty Van Fett, I'm choosing you to be my- I'm sorry, when I become Nikki, I just get so angry. Oh, and Shane Dawson also collabs with Jeffree Star, which is like a famous YouTuber as well. While we're at it, we might as well bring up the fact that Rob Schneider does a bunch of racist roles. Ethnic stereotypes. Watch any movie featuring Rob Schneider and odds are good you'll see him playing some kind of ethnic caricature, like the Hawaiian Ula from Fifty First Dates or the Asian minister from I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry. <sighs> Or even Sasha Baron. He calls them African Americans as a riot. African Americans yeah. are here. No, they're called African Americans. This is my town of Cusack. These are Orkin, the town rapist. Naughty, naughty. Ah, America. The birthplace of AIDS. Megyn Kelly was under similar fire after making comments about the appropriateness for white people to wear blackface on Halloween. Why not bring up Dave Chappelle while we're at it? Well, these checks aren't just affecting things on Beach Street. Wall Street is having a big day as well. The crime rate has fallen to zero percent. How could that be? Did the Mexicans get money today too? Marlon Wayans? Um, captivated by your beautiful in Italy. Or how about the fact that he played a black guy with red hair, a black ginger, a ganger, that, that's what he called himself in the movie? Or this other YouTuber becoming white for Instagram? I hope you understand and get my point. These people are celebrities, they're doing a job, they're acting a role, they're playing a part. It shouldn't matter which race you are or who you're dressing up to be or whoever you're going to be. If a man's trying to be a woman or a woman's dressing up as a man, are they going to start saying now that it's wrong as well, that it's like sexist or like, I don't know, some sort of weird thing there now? Or like a grown-up trying to become a kid or like a kid trying to become an adult? Like how far are they going to push it? In my own opinion, honestly, I find it absolutely stupid that people are trying to go after people and bash them for playing a role in acting. That's their role. Even if you like dress up for Halloween, that's what you're dressing up as. You're trying to like become that person or like whatever. You're like you idolize them. Like, you know, like it just doesn't make any sense to my to me at all that people are going to try to pull that racism card and that hate card right away and try to ruin people's lives. And Jimmy Fallon did this 20 years ago. So in all honesty and reality, the people that are saying it's racist are actually the racists themselves. Like, you know, it's like we should be 
people to live in a world where people should be able to like honor or like you know try to like be somebody even if it's like a, as a comedy sketch or like even to make fun of them like it, like <laughs> like we're all grown ups and we live in a world like if they're gonna start bashing people and like trying to get people in trouble or say this person's racist or not then they have to treat everybody equally no matter who it is like it's just it's just, that's that's the whole point everyone has to be treated equally either they allow it or they don't when you watch a movie that's violent you know it's fake it's fiction and if you can't differentiate the difference between a television show and somebody acting and playing a role and that is fiction or like a comedy sketch or impersonating somebody or even wearing something as a costume then like then like this this the world is doomed and people just need to get over themselves so anyways please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below please like this video and share it with your friends and family and click that subscribe button for more you might agree with me you might disagree with me but that's the beauty that everyone's entitled to their own opinion and free speech thanks for watching everyone stay safe take care and god bless you all